What's going on guys, Kanthev here. Let me start off by apologizing for not uploading in nearly three weeks. I was on vacation and I just got back. I'm also very sick from traveling, so I apologize if I don't sound like myself. Uh, but anyway, school is starting back up soon, which means I'll have a pretty structured schedule, so I'm planning on setting up specific times to stream throughout the week, as well as allotting time to continue posting videos at least once a week, so stay tuned for that schedule. The other thing I wanted to say is thank you guys so much once again, we're super close to smashing 2,000 subscribers and I can't wait to celebrate that with you all. I'm planning on releasing a few more videos relatively soon to make up for my absence over the past few weeks, so make sure to stay up to date with my latest content by hitting the bell icon and joining the notification squad. Anyway, with regards to the build, a lot of people have been telling me, hey Kanthev, I really like your bases, but none of them are easy to build unless you have all the resources available. So this week's build only costs 6,500 stone and 400 wood, which is why I call it the Cheapskate. The Cheapskate has a daily upkeep cost of 800 stone, 100 wood, and 50 metal, and while it obviously doesn't have a ton of protection, it does have all the essential items you'll need, can be built in seconds, and can last you for just long enough until you save up for a bigger base. Hopping right into the tour, through the front door you'll notice three furnaces on the ground. This is an amazing way to save space in your base because they work perfectly as flooring but give you a ton of utility without cluttering the base. Through the next door there's a barbecue, two sleeping bags, and three more furnaces. Also under this floor is a research table which you can access by using the small part that's poking through beneath the barbecue. Behind these next double doors you'll have a chest and a repair bench, then you can drop down to the rest of the base. Down below, there's your TC, which can hold a lot of your collected resources, as well as your tier 1 workbench next to it. There are three more large boxes and the research table behind them. You can also fit a few small boxes off to the side if you end up running out of room. Let me know what you guys think about this base in the comments down below, but anyway, that pretty much wraps up the tour for the base. Now, let's take a look at how to get the cheapskate built. To kick off the build, start by placing two square foundations with a triangle foundation next to it. Next, add half height walls completely around the triangle foundation and on the sides of the first square foundation. Add three full walls around the second square foundation, then two more on the sides of the other square foundation, and one final full wall on one side of the triangle. Add a doorway to the entrance, then place a floor above the first square foundation and a second floor at the top of the second square foundation. Add half walls around the second floor, then close up your roof with two more square floors and a triangle floor. Finally, add a second doorway and a wall frame to complete the shell of the base. All you have to do now is place some foundation steps to get back into your base, then go ahead and place down all your items. I'm going to speed up this part of the video, but if you want to slow it down, then you can do so by clicking the gear wheel icon and setting playback speed to half speed. While you're clicking around, make sure to drop a like if you found this video helpful, and definitely consider subscribing for more Rust content on a weekly basis. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace!